Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here and welcome to this FIFA 16 career mode video. Today, I'm going to be doing a player growth test. I've gathered some of the highest potential young players in career modes into the same team and I'm going to be simulating a few seasons. As you can see, I'm in 2022 right now and we're going to take a look at some of the best players in the future. And in case you notice one player or a few players I don't have there, it's because I have more of these planned and there's just going to be different styles, some cheap players with high potential, and I'm going to be doing team-specific ones, just say Chelsea or Man United, for example, where I simulate around to a certain time as well, uh, 2022 or a similar amount of seasons anyway. So hopefully you enjoy these. If you want to see some more, drop a like on the video. So you saw the goalkeeper there, Ariza Balaga, with a very long name. He was 84 rated, not too bad. And I did simulate to this season because, as you can see, Fabinho, who's gone up to 87 overall, very good right back uh, to get in career mode. Yeah, he was starting to go down. So I thought it was suitable as around this year, 27, yeah, 28 is probably the peak they're going to reach. John Stones uh, looks very good for an English centre-back. Then Marquinhos, 86. He went plus one this season. But Luke Shaw, 88 overall at 26 years of age. He's valued at 35.5 million. One of the best left-backs in the game. Raheem Sterling, left midfielder. 35 and a half million once again, 87 rated, 27 years old. He's got the flair trait and of course the four-star skills. He can also play as a right midfielder or a striker also, but one of the better ones is Alan Halilovic, 91 overall. I'm going to do a bit of a comparison at the end of this video, but he's one of the best players in career mode when you simulate about five or six seasons in. So he's 25 years old. Can play right wing, the right midfield position, and cut in on his left with the four-star skills, but also can play a center attacking midfield position. And you can also see his traits and specialities. Finesse shot, flair, and then he's got an abundance of specialities. Complete midfielder as well. Definitely can play that attacking midfielder position perfectly. I would prefer him in that role opposed to as a winger. I just feel he can create so much like 98 short passing and so much more to his game. And next up at English lad, another attacking midfielder, Ross Barkley at 89 overall and he's got 98 short passing. It's pretty much faultless along with the ball control as well. Really good. He's a playmaker, can take shots from range as well. Very dangerous I've actually experimented with this team as well. Just played a couple games for fun. And he's got five-star weak foot as well. He just bosses the midfield. Absolutely insane creatively. And he can take some decent long shots as well. Perfect for a center attacking mid. But the highest rated player is Memphis Depay. Absolutely insane. The best winger in the game. Like I said, I'm going to do a comparison with two of the best players, him and Halilovic. To me, they're reminiscent to Ronaldo and Messi. Even though, uh, yeah, Halilovic is lower rated than Depay, still, they play like those counterparts. Memphis plays like Ronaldo, and Halilovic plays like Messi. Absolutely amazing players. Then onto the strikers now. Harry Kane, 86 rated, 88 finishing. Very strong attribute there. But yeah, he's one of those strikers without too many higher... Uh, or they've got good attributes, but they don't have any spe specialities or anything like that. That's too good, like flair or something. Uh, same with Alcacer, Paco Alcacer. He's a clinical finisher. 95 finishing. Absolutely amazing in front of goal. He scores so many. And there's Dragovsky as well as the backup goalkeeper. You see he developed into a 76 rating. He didn't uh, train too much, obviously, uh, with his development. That's why I want to say as well, I didn't train any of these players. I just simulated through the season. So this is the natural growth without training. And if you're playing a certain career mode, you'd play... Yeah, you train players. So this is just the general growth without training. Also, Angel Correa is a very dangerous player himself. Ball control, 98. Dribbling, 97 as well. He's got very good shot power. Four-star skills and four-star weak foot. You play him behind those two strikers like Harry Kane and Alcacer, and he's deadly. Bazawa, oh, talk about deadly. He's like a Yaya Toure type in midfield. 88 rated. He starts about mid-70s, doesn't he? He develops into one of the best central midfielders in the game, if not the best. Great short passing and ball control. 
just creating chances with this team is so fun because you've got so many players with great ball control and dribbling. You don't even need skill moves. Just the control on the ball is absolutely amazing. You saw uh, Gaia as well. He's fighting with the, yeah, Luke Shaw for the left-back position. Amazingly rated also. And there's uh, Gonzalo Guedes and Yuri Tielemans, the other central midfielder. Just Tielemans and Bazoa, yeah, Bazoa and Tielemans together is absolutely... I'm just excited talking about it. Absolutely amazing partnership. And a few of these other guys uh, didn't reach the highest of levels compared to the others. Uh, still respectable, of course, like Sebalos there and Mbolo. No doubt he's a beastly striker with that strength and pace. Pretty good finishing as well. Again, ball control, one of his standout attributes. And he's a good rotation off the bench option. Marco Asensio as well. He didn't grow too much in the early days, and he's still got a bit of lower attributes. Like, his shot power's not the greatest. So, yeah, you take that into account as well. Uh, he's not that amazing, but he's good for that kind of rotation player. Uh, Julian Brandt, kind of in the same boat. Uh, Sula, 83, respectable with 96 strength and 95 standing tackle. If you know how to use him, yeah, he's a very effective center back. Maximilian Meyer as well. He's not, again, not as good as those other types, uh, but he's uh, still a solid player. Ryan Gould, same boat, 85. See, he was going a bit down. He's 26 now. I'm not sure if he was, yeah, having an injury or coming back from an injury as well. Uh, he could go down a little bit. Oliver Torres, 85. So these these guys are so good. They develop so much. And you, this is an amazing guide if you wanted to sign any of these players. This was just for fun for me. I tested this today. Uh, I wanted to bring back an older video I did. I did these in FIFA 14, and it was, yeah, so fun recording this. It was a breath of fresh air, really, uh, to record something different apart from a general career mode. So, like I said, I was going to do the comparison. Really, to me, Halilovic feels like Messi. You take away the ratings that Halilovic is rated lower than Depay. It's, and this is not about comparing Ronaldo and Messi, who's better. This is about talking about players that feel like those respective players. Memphis, completely, 92 rated. He is outstanding, and he does deserve to be the highest rated player out of these because you can just feel it on the pitch. Absolute standout. He's over 60 million worth. And he is that for me, the standout. But Halilovic does, uh, as though, even though Memphis feels like a standout for me, it feels like Ronaldo, Halilovic does at the same time feel like Messi. And some of you probably think Messi is better. But as I said, don't want that here, yeah, Ronaldo Messi comparison. But if you do want to see more of these, I've got cheaper players. You can sign lower overalls that turn into good players as well. Uh, certain clubs as well, how they look in the future. So much coming. So drop a like for those and I'll see you guys next time.